I'm Ronaldo Lemos, I'm the director of the Institute for Technology and Society of Rio de Janeiro. And we're just at the end of the Artificial Intelligence and Inclusion Seminar that just took place in Rio. And for me, the most important thing that we discussed is what is the impact of artificial intelligence over inequality. So it seems like artificial intelligence is going to be a game in which the winner takes it all. So the question is, who's going to be the winner? Is it the United States? Is it China? So does that mean that a lot of uh, resources are going to flow to those two countries? And what does it mean for the entire geopolitical repercussions of that? Number one thing is to invest in science. Uh, I think like uh, developing countries have to take science as a priority. We cannot afford not to participate in these debates. Second thing is uh, to invest in education. So training people for new skills is also extremely important in a moment in which uh, there's a lot of uh, possibilities of job insecurity and transformations in the job market. So these are the uh, new forms of infrastructure. The infrastructure of the future will be investing in people. That's the way that you actually prevent uh, a lot of the bad effects that artificial intelligence might have. In Brazil, we have the Marco Civil Law, which is a bill of rights for the internet. And basically what it does, it regulates fundamental rights online. So I think that can be a good inspiration for artificial intelligence, especially because the process in which it was built was a collaborative process. We call it a multi-stakeholder process. And I think that's the best way to build public policy regarding technology, when all sectors of society actually have a say in the outcome of regulation. So I think like uh, this experience that Brazil has had with the micro civil can actually inform in terms of process how we should deal with challenges, for instance, like uh, artificial intelligence and the policy issues that it's going to bring.